Alright guys, thanks for coming back. Uh, this is Vine Valley here, episode 3 of Donkey Kong Country. And we're gonna go ahead and start off by playing Vulture Culture. This is one of my favorite levels. I have no idea why, but it is. I think it's because it reminds me of Star Wars. Like the atmosphere and everything. Oh, there it is. What just happened there? That should have fucking pushed me over all the way. Damn it. Should have pushed me to the other platform. Damn it, what the fuck? I mean, what's the point of having that there if they're not gonna uh, help me out? Just get this, uh... Come on, Donkey Kong, you badass. I love this game because it's 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 quick, it's easy, it's enjoyable. Um, it's not crowded with nonsense. It just it's just really enjoyable. That's pretty much sums it up. I think anybody would love this game, especially if you like Mario or Sonic or any of these kind kind of platformers. Donkey Kong's nailed it. it did a really good job. One of the best Super Nintendo games, and one of the best games in general for my generation. What the f- How did I fall for that again? I know he's gonna try and creep up on me, but watch. Yeah, take that. See, doesn't this remind you of, like, in every way, um, the, the, the Star Wars episode, uh, episode 6, is it episode, yeah, episode 6, uh, Return of the Jedi, uh, I forgot the name of the actual, um, the actual, I can't think of them right now on the top of my head, so you'll have to, uh, 
excuse me, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just reminds me of Star Wars. That's what the name of the, F, the the level was. So this is Forest Frenzy. Shit. As soon as I'm done doing this, I'll, uh, I will be doing Let's Play for another Super Nintendo game that I have actually own, so, well, I, I own this game as well, all these Super Nintendo games I own. Yeah, let me know. Uh, I'm also gonna do Sega, and I'll do Nintendo. And eventually I will be doing the 64 as soon as I can figure out how I can uh, broadcast this the same way I broadcast the Super Nintendo. 
I gotta buy all the things separately so I can actually broadcast it. He's so fat and useless. Other than he's good at beating Mario. He's pretty much a fat, useless character in this game. Let's get Diddy back up in this. It's just for Super Nintendo being 16 gigabytes. Is it gigabytes? 16 gigs? I think that's the right word. Anyway, for it just being 16, uh, you know, gigs, it's a really well crafted game.
Well, at least I, I, I passed the level. I thought I would be by, like, at the boss by now. With all these levels I've already beat. Fuck yeah, another water level. For those that haven't checked out episode uh, one, uh, this is one of my favorite things about Donkey Kong Country is the fact that these water levels are just fucking well crafted, well done. And, um, I mean, the music just, it just, nostalgia, it, it just hits the spot. It makes me feel young again. I already missed the K. Shit. shark a little bit bigger just to be more intimidating shit shit get in there Reminds me of that one song with the saxophone, with the with the guy with the shirt off. He starts uh, playing the saxophone all all like sexy, like if it's a girl. I forgot the name of the song. If you guys actually know, uh, please send me a link on my comments below. I want to get a laugh for the night. Looks like we're gonna end it here. Uh, uh, we're gonna be uh, episode four pretty soon, which will be Gorilla Glacier. Uh, please follow me if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. You can check me out on twitch.tv backslash Ninteddy. And uh, yeah, hit that follow button and show your support. You can check me out on Twitter at Ninteddy. Thanks for tuning in, guys.